Sheesh. Yo, God, dude, I can't believe I just started a podcast like that. 40-year-old me is going to listen back and hear that and think, oh, God, I can't believe I did that. Um, All right, well, welcome back. This is episode 10, dude. We made the double digits. Woo! Uh, actually didn't think this day would come. Um, but we're here. We made it, dude. Next goal is uh, triple digits. And I'll be like freaking 80 years old by the time we get there. Unless I stay consistent with this, which I plan to, so... Hopefully that's, hopefully that's not the case. Um, but if you're new here, uh, this podcast is mainly me bringing other creative people on here, talking about what they do and how they make money and how they, I guess, make money doing what they enjoy. And even if it's not their main career, just them exploring uh, their creative outlet and taking us behind the scenes. So, um so far, we've had people that have never been on podcasts before, and it's really cool. I'm really enjoying it. Hopefully, you're enjoying it, too. Um, and I never knew who was listening to my podcasts ever. Um, <laughs> like, I've shared it around, and a handful of people told me they watch it, but I don't know who that is, you know? Like, what if, like, someone in my family is watching this, and they just haven't been telling me, you know? I'd feel weird about that. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, thank you to everyone who's been listening to this podcast. Um, there's a couple things I want to go over in this episode. Um, number one is there's ads going around on Instagram uh, that are stealing people's hard-earned cash uh, for something that's just not uh, realistic. They're basically taking people's money for, uh, followers. So I want to get into that because that's been at the top of my head for so long now. And I feel like people deserve to know about this. And so it doesn't happen to them. Um, I mean, I think anyone with a normal brain will know that, you know, you don't just buy followers like that. Um, well, I guess some people do, but you you know what I'm trying to say. Um, and then there's another. Uh, I guess I guess I could just talk about some uh, stuff going on in my life. I do want to keep this episode short though, because uh, I don't have a guest on this podcast. The next episode uh, we'll have a guest on. I've been trying to get a guest on here for like two weeks now. And I keep having, like, little hiccups where I haven't been able to have a guest on. So I'm like, hey, why not, you know? Sometimes I come on this podcast and it's just me. And I talk about stuff that I'm thinking about because, hey, it's my podcast. I can talk about what I want. Um, so I have fun doing that. So hopefully you enjoy uh, podcast when it's just me. So we'll keep this episode nice and short for you because I know it's hard to listen. It's just one person talking the whole time, um, but yeah, holy cow, man, if you're new here, thank you, appreciate you, uh, watching, um, I'm having a lot of fun doing this, too, um, I feel like there was one other thing that I wanted to talk about on this episode, um, I think there was only, like, one current news thing that I just found out about the other day that I'll bring up, so, yeah, um, all right, well, uh, personal life, um, let's get into that, so, um, yeah, I've been chilling, doing a lot of editing, um, the other day, a bunch, well, okay, I read that there's some music venues that are starting to open back up, um, with, like, limited cap and masks and there's some music things that are starting to open up so feeling pretty good about that um oh yeah on top of that i have both uh vaccine shots so i think as of today or maybe in a couple days from now i'll be like 
at that 14 day mark, like 100% vaccinated, good to go. So uh, I also realized that I think that's a privilege because in the news, I'm realizing that there's like so many other countries and people that like haven't even like seen the vaccine. Um, so I guess I feel very lucky to have both shots right now. Um, but it's a feels good, you know, it's like slowly we're getting back more, uh, back more towards normal. Uh, I feel bad for everyone in, uh, I think India got really bad. They hadn't seen, they hadn't seen, uh, the vaccine quite yet. And I felt really bad reading that news. Um, and there's people that are just not doing too well with it. Um, so yeah, music's, music's coming back soon. I film my first show like with audi with an audience obviously safely with masks etc um the other day so felt really good i haven't filmed a show like that since covid um so i, I feel good feel good about that i'm pretty excited also also uh the shirt i'm wearing actually right now if you're watching the video uh right here holly uh we just filmed a a whole entire like live stream that just aired today and holy cow man i've been thinking about this for like three weeks now um probably longer honestly um but yeah it just went live on noon course today a bunch of people saw it i got some feedback already that's really good feedback so um so so excited that went up um and I'm glad that other people could sit at the comfort of their own home and watch it and enjoy their favorite band, you know? Um, I'm excited for when we do, like, release some of that. Um, but for now, it's going to be on Noon Chorus. And I think, I'm not sure if you can still buy a ticket because it just played tonight. But if you missed it, uh, stay tuned. You'll get to see it. Um so excited about that there was a lot of different things i did i filmed it differently than usual um there's some stuff that i filmed like i do usually um i shared a little snippet today so that was super exciting um yeah so it feels good that some music stuff's coming back not all of it obviously um but yeah i think that's i think that's what i'm most excited about and just trying to get some business stuff in order, um, doing some brainstorming, um, and I've been making some TikToks lately. Um, that's been that's been really fun. Um, how many more times can I say um? <laughs> but yeah, honestly, uh, I think that's what I'm most excited about right now. Uh, just waiting to see. I've been filming the live streams. Uh, this thing called the Bunker that goes live every Thursday. Uh, so if you haven't been seeing that, search the Bunker on YouTube. Uh, actually, little teaser here. Uh, the next podcast will be with uh, the guy who holds down the bunker. So keep the bunker in the back of your head, like in the back of your head, and. Just remember that for the next episode, okay? Little little egg there, because um, he's gonna he's gonna talk about it and tell you all about what that is. So uh, that should be really fun. I'm really excited for that episode. Um, that'll that yeah that'll be the next episode. Um, and yeah, dude, freaking the last episode is like my second most popular episode. Uh, the one with Serena. So uh thank you appreciate the love on that uh there's a lot of people that really enjoyed it um and then my most popular one was a very controversial uh topic the one that was called the truth about columbia college it has 808 898 views on it right now so thank you to everybody who watched that uh i did not ever <laughs> think that a podcast as this new would have that many views on it but you know what people liked it they agreed with it and i haven't seen a dislike on it so that it's it's a good sign <laughs> um i was honestly kind of scared to make that because i'm like who's gonna see this and 
freaking hate me for the rest of their life. Um, but nobody did. I've been getting a lot of good feedback on that. So I don't know. Maybe I got to talk about controversial stuff. On, I talk about controversial stuff or relatable stuff and people like it. Okay. And if you're listening this far, thank you. Um, yeah, so I'm excited about that. Um, I need to get back to making like regular YouTube videos. I kind of miss doing that. Um, but yeah, holy cow, man, enough about me. I could sit here rant about myself all day. Not, not to sound conceited or whatever. Um, I think if you know me, you know that I'm not, um, but anyway, uh, oh my God, current news. The other day I found out that, uh, Facebook and Twitter is not going to allow Trump back. And they keep saying, like, at least for now. So, <laughs> feels good. Uh, thank God, dude. Uh, hey, I'm not even trying to get, like, uh, I'm not even trying to, like, bring up politics either. Like, this is just world news. Like, everybody knows this, no matter what side you're on. So, <laughs> this is not... This is not political. This is just a fact that the entire universe knows. Um, so, yeah, dude, that that that's pretty cool. Hopefully, they don't allow him back. Okay, now that's that. Okay, now that could be crossing some lines. Uh, boy, now I'm getting political. Um, yeah, that's all. <laughs> I just saw that. I was excited. So, uh, hopefully, hopefully they don't let him back in. Um, all right. I guess I guess I could get into this. This this might be a little bit more ranty. Hopefully, you guys like listening to rants. Um, but it's a helpful rant. <laughs> I hope that people can listen to this and at least like tell a friend or two that might be doing this. Or, you know, some, it can at least kind of help somebody. Or at least I hope to be the first person to talk about this. Because I actually have searched YouTube videos about people, like, uh, getting scammed of followers. And I haven't really found one. Um, so I hope to be the voice to help stop this. And I got to talk about my problem with Instagram, too. So, um it's kind of one in the same thing. So, um, all right. So let's not beat around the bush anymore. <laughs> um, so basically I, you know, when you're on Instagram and it picks up on what you like on the ads and it just like, Hey, this guy likes this. Let's just keep putting it on his phone. Um, that's what happened to me. I, I, saw this like really scammy ad for followers and I like investigated it. I actually, I have it on my phone still. Uh, cause I couldn't believe it. I like couldn't believe my eyes. I was like, dude, this is, this is real. Um, and it's quite, it's quite sad. Okay. Um, I'll, if you're watching the video, I'll put it up on the screen right here, but if you're listening, um, it was an ad that I got on Instagram that said uh, it was from this place called Online Stardom, which already sounds insane. Um, so the ad said, grow by thousands, become an influencer for only two ninety seven, And then it had like a little plus icon in it. And the follower icon is like plus 203. Below it says grow by thousands for only two ninety seven, and dude, ah, it's so upsetting because you know the amount of like vulnerable people that like see this and think that it's real and give them their money. I, dude, I there's no way that I'm making that up. There's no way. There's people that literally see this. And go, yeah, that's real. I'm going to try it. And oh my god, dude. This drives me crazy for so many reasons. Because, okay. This is my problem with Instagram. Uh, hey, Instagram. If you're listening. <laughs> if you're listening to this. Please get rid of these ads. How is it that 
this company is pushing this ad, even company, it's probably like a freaking a nobody that's just putting this ad on Instagram and then in, the people on Instagram when they like review it, they're like, "Yeah, this is this is good." Yeah. Like how are they not seeing that and being like, "This is clearly a scam," you know? It's like dude, it just really makes me wonder like what other stuff is out there scamming people. And okay, I do want to talk about the other side of this because let's let's give them the benefit of the doubt, right? Let's say that this is not a scam, right? So they maybe get their freaking, I don't know. Well, it says become an influencer. So is that what getting followers? That's that's a ah, that's a whole nother thing. So is that what getting followers means? You get followers and you become an influencer? Really? I don't think that's what it means. Um, but anyway, so it's like, it just doesn't, let's talk about the other side of it because it's like, what if they did give you those followers, right? What if you did pay and you got those followers? Think about that for a second. Like, who are these followers? Who the hell are these people? Um, it's like, well, like, Followers that are what? Like, do they they like the same things you like? How old are they? Where are they from? Like, who the hell are these followers? That's the thing. The people that believe this, they don't care. They're just like, yay, followers. I got followers. And they don't care. And it's like, dude, that's, that's the thing with Instagram is like, your followers have to like you because if they don't, they're just not going to see your posts or ever care. And how, how is it? Explain the logic. Like, so it's like if you have all those followers, that doesn't mean they're all going to see your posts, right? But that's just me giving them the benefit of the doubt if this is real. But it's not. Like, and see, that's a whole nother thing. Like, I I get that it they're saying it's only 297, but I've literally seen worse ones that are like you can have 4 million followers today for only $179. And it's like huh? Dude, I, I straight up, straight up honest story. I got a call this past weekend um where one of the somehow by clicking an Instagram ad, one of these scammers decided to call me. And it, you know how I know they're a scam? Because when they called, not my phone beeping mid podcast. Dang it. Uh, beep. Not again. Okay. Um, you know how I know it's a scam? When they called my phone, you know those like calling center calls you get where you hear the person's voice, but in the background, it's like. <sighs> And you just hear all these other voices talking in the back. Uh, holy cow. Sorry to those of you listening on Spotify. <laughs> um, yeah. So it was like one of those scam calls. And um, I when when they called, they're like, so you, you're, uh, you picked up because you want followers. And the first thing I said, I was like, who are these followers? And she was like, sir, we can get you followers for only $2.97. And I'm like, no, but like, who are these followers? And she's like, "Sir, you're not listening. Like, these are only for two ninety seven, and they were just trying to skirt around that." And I'm just like, "Why can't they? Why is this information not like, I guess, readily accessible?" <laughs> um, and then she kept saying like, "Oh, that's another thing I said. I'm like, how are you just gonna give me followers without my information?" And she's like, well, sir, we need to have your uh, username and your password. And, like, I'm not going to let you into my account. And there's people that will literally do that and then lose their account. Like, the second you give your password, they hang up, dude. They'll probably hang up. They'd be like, yo, we just got an Instagram account. Like, let's go. They're freaking hanging up, dude. There's your credit card information right in your Instagram. Dude, they're good. They... 
they don't need to make another call, man. They can leave their job. They're good. And holy cow, that's upsetting. Because there's people that believe it. People that are that vulnerable to believe it. Because obviously if people believe crap on the internet that they see, they'll be- believe any other thing. I mean, uh, dude, I just, I just don't like the idea that people that are vulnerable are able to be targeted, right? I just find that so upsetting. And I cannot live a day without thinking about it. Like, I just, it's just so upsetting. Like, I know this is a bigger picture thing and happens in real life, like, everywhere. But it's just so sad because it's the internet and people are even worse on the internet for some reason. There's no way I'm making that up. (laughs) People see something and they just believe it immediately. And uh, that's how these people are stealing people of stealing people's hard-earned cash. Uh, and these ads are just so like I don't know they're just invasive. I think is the right word that I'm looking for. Um, here was an Instagram ad that I got. It it was from Truzy Social Reach Influencer Status. And then the description says, there's only one way to go viral on demand, and it's not posting every day. True influencers know they don't need a system. They need a proven process that sets them apart from the rest. So what is this process that involves not posting? (laughs) You know? But nope, there's people that believe that. Um... It's just so weird. Why would they want... Why would they say... Is that like a thing that people want? They want to be influencer status. Is that like the goal for everybody? Is that why they use that as their like tagline or whatever? Because people will freaking believe it. And they want to become an influencer. And sorry, I know I'm ranting a lot. But this is... (laughs) this subject matter is something has been like eating away at me like i don't know dude the (laughs) the subject matter freaking i don't know has enough sustenance to freaking eat away at me for the rest there's enough sustenance that doesn't need to eat away eat away at me anymore (laughs) um dude yeah this is i don't know and here, I have, a, I have another one that I want to share. Um, okay, this is the one that upsets me the most. Uh, this is... It's a, the, the people in these pictures always look a different age, so you can tell they're trying to target, like, older people or younger people. Uh, this one's an older person target. It says, I have built four, crossed the four out, nine... Social media accounts with over 1 million followers. And I just hate the idea that people will have, will like, even if this is real, will have followers that don't know who they are. And plus, how are these people going to get other people just to click follow on the account? People follow other accounts because they like what you have. I'll say it again. People follow accounts because they like what you have. Or do, okay? That's why people follow you. Or they know you. Or they know you. But um, somehow these guys will get people that don't have any of those things. They just follow you. And it actually is worse for your algorithm. It's actually worse. Less people will see your stuff because less people will spend time in your posts and less people will see it. So don't do it, okay? Um, But this one says, now I want to build yours. DM me grow for info. And... I actually DM'd this guy one time because it upset me that much. Um, and so, uh, this is I, I sent him a message, and then his response back said, go ahead, book the call now because I don't offer private coaching often. Spots fill up fast, and I'll let you know when I do this again. So, it was a bot message. He didn't actually send that. Like, when you send him grow, that's the message you get back. Because he's trying to make people think, people that don't know any better, stupid people, think that 
he's roaring out of space, but he just is creating some like bullshit course or some bullshit business plan call with the nerds so that he can freaking take your money, dude. And it's just so upsetting, man. Like, why is this ad? Why is there a Lambo and uh, what? I don't, sorry, I I don't even know what car that is. Um, there's two cars that are clearly very expensive on both sides of him, and him standing in a suit. Like, yo, this old guy. Oh, we lost our fire in the back. Um, if you're watching the video, it's like, hey, this old guy. He has two old or he has <laughs> he has two very expensive cars and he's wearing a suit so you should believe him ah, man that stuff uh, this is i don't know why this eats away at me i know i'm ranting um this is another one this is another one i saw it said this isn't these are all ads on instagram the instagram if you're listening to this stop <laughs> I know they're not, but they need to get rid of this. This is, like, seriously bad. Um, here's another one. This is how celebs grow their following. It's just 297 limited time. Is that... Th what? So, people that are celebrities, nobody actually knows who they are. They're just called celebrities. And when they have social media, nobody wants to follow a celebrity. Because they always have zero followers. So they they use this gramgains.com to get followers. Huh? What? This is how subs grow their fo dude, I can't, man. I can't. It's just the targeting and the fact that Instagram lets this stuff go is what's chewing away at me, man. Something needs to be said, like, if you're listening to this, and you're, you've got this far in the podcast, freaking call Instagram, tell someone you know that works for them, or say something, something needs to be said about, I know this is such a small problem in the grand scheme of things, but, um, I don't know, man, I just don't like the idea that people are, uh, getting their hard-earned cash stolen, um, Okay, so there's this other thing that goes around called the 1 million followers uh, ebook. And it's this idiot who wrote an ebook on how to get followers. And that, dude, I can make a whole nother podcast on like stuff that you can do to help you get followers. Because I personally, like on my TikTok, I have like 28,000 followers. And it just took, like, a few videos to do that. Um, I mean, like, I don't I don't really care to, like, talk about the subject matter on a podcast. But, like, having that, I feel like I have a little bit of a, like, I don't know, foot in the door. A little bit knowledge on um, how, how you can get some followers. Um, but, I don't know, man. I just don't want to be another another voice in that i mean i can like certainly point you to stuff or tell you how to like tag the right things and that but i don't know man it's just such a weird subject matter um but this one yeah this guy's trying to sell a whole entire book a book yeah on how to get followers in just a few weeks dude it's just called exposure, man. People know about you or they don't. It's that simple. <laughs> and yet there's people trying to make books about this, you know? Books. Whole entire book. Do, do people even read? Okay, people do, but. Whew, man. Um, all right, so there's actually like these videos so i have this i have this other link right here from this website called social jolt uh it's called grow your account with hundreds of new followers overnight um social jolts social jolt 
overnight uh, influencer growth will skyrocket your account for $9.95. That's how you, that's another easy way to tell it's a scam. All these prices are just so different. Like, one person's $2, next person's $9, next person's $185. Like, make it make sense, okay? Um, and then this one tries to act like the time is running out. Hurry up! You have one minute. Um, this one says, limited time offer. And then you already have to, like, type in your credit card and your credentials and all that. And... <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Okay, I'm gonna play this one video for you guys because I saw this one time and I thought it was so funny. It made me laugh because it was so dumb. I'm gonna play this for you guys, all right? All right, here it goes. I signed up to Growthly and immediately I had all these brand new followers and people were just jealous of me. All my friends were asking me, how on earth did you get so many new friends and why are they all interacting with you? It's like I just had all these new friends at the click of a button. It was incredible. I basically feel like Kylie Jenner. I have so many new followers. It's fantastic. I can't recommend Grossly enough. It's changed my life. I'm so popular on Instagram now. It's amazing. Dude, it's amazing. He's just like Kylie Jenner. <laughs> oh my God, man. And yet, there's people that believe it. That's the sad part. That's the sad part. Hey, if you have a friend that you think might believe this tell them tell them okay or just tell your friends so they can tell their stupid friend <laughs> you know I'm not trying to sound like i'm smart you're dumb <laughs> like that's not that's not what this is about this is just like i don't know man just trying to get simple common knowledge through more people's head <laughs> um there's like another two videos on here, but I think I drove my point home on this. Um, there's, yeah, so I don't know, man. Just, I, that's about all I'm going to talk about with this. But when you're on Instagram, please, please just be extra careful when you see an ad. There, an ad on Instagram always wants a little extra money. There's always like something to it. Just, don't take what you see on Instagram face value or let alone on social media. Please just reevaluate what you see, I guess what I'm trying to say. Look at it closer. Decide if that's your thing and just don't don't be so vulnerable to ads that are trying to take your money, I guess, or they're trying to scam you on stuff that you like cuz they're good at pushing ads and stuff that you like, and it's easy just to, like, download that thing or buy that thing or go to that link or whatever. But a lot of this... I sound like a conspiracy theorist now. <laughs> a lot of these stuffs are just, like, traps to, like, take advantage of your vulner vulnerability, um, which is sad. And that's kind of what social media is. And it's so easy for these scammers just to like get right underneath there and pop their ad so please be careful tell your friends about this tell your friends about my podcast too okay tell them about my pod how, podcast podcast is a weird word i was just thinking about this today podcast remember when people used to say you could like cast stuff yo dude I'm casting <laughs> um, podcast. Yo, I'm casting in a pod, dude. I'm in, in my pod. I'm in a little small pod. I'm casting from the pod. That's what I do on my podcast. Um, <laughs> how, what a weird word, right? Podcast? Weird word. Um, yeah, man, well, you know what, let's call it a wrap here, didn't want to hold you guys too long, just wanted to talk about that, because it's been the top of my head, and chewing away at me, so it's off my head, and can use that energy in other places now, um, but yeah, thanks for listening, if you made it that far, uh, this far, I should say, 
Um, appreciate you. Um, stay tuned for uh, stay tuned for the next episode. Um, I, like I said, I'll have uh, my friend who's going to talk about the bunker on here. Uh, should be a really fun episode. I'm really excited to have him on here. And uh, I have another couple guests that I don't think have been on podcast either. I'm really excited to have them on too. And if you're listening and you want to be on here, hit me up. Let me know. I changed my Instagram handle. That's another thing I should have talked about. It's at Max Williams Video. I'll put it right there. But I'm no longer the Will Max on Instagram or Will Max 95. But um, did it for business purposes. Got to get my business in order and do stuff that looks professional. It's Will Max. You don't see freaking McDonald's 95 or Wendy's 95. Uh, it's called McDonald's. So I need to be the McDonald's of video people. Okay. So I'm Max Williams video. I'm the McDonald's of video people. And I make videos and I sell burgers and fries. So if you work with me, you get burgers and fries. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> what if I just like, gave burgers and fries to everybody that I work with? And they're like, yo, dude. Uh, Max was nice to work with, but when I got done, he gave me burgers and fries. Um, and they're like, oh, dude, no way. And like, yeah, yeah, he, it was from McDonald's. And they're like, oh, okay, okay. Um, dude, that'd be so weird. <laughs> yeah, I Um, so yeah, I am Max Williams Video on Instagram now. Uh, tell your friends, okay? Um, we'll wrap it there. We'll wrap it there. Uh, hit that subscribe button on this podcast if you're new here um and leave a comment let me know what you like i'm open to feedback um if you have anybody you think would be fun to have on here let me know i love having guests on here uh even if it's not a creative thing just someone fun to talk to um yeah let's do it and uh talk to you guys in the next episode hit that subscribe button and if you're listening on spotify Thank you, and keep having a good day. All right, bye.